Hello everyone, my name is Shekhar Sharma and I am the student of civil engineering, fourth year in Faculty of Engineering and Technology, University of Lucknow. I am here to give a seminar presentation on a topic, you boot baton, what's lab technology. In this presentation, I am going to discuss about what is U boot baton, components of U boot baton, materials used, types of U boot baton, installation process, applications, case study, advantages, conclusion. What is U boot baton? U boot baton or U boot is a voided slab system from the Italian company Telecom. It is implemented in Italy for the first time. It is a recycled polypropylene formwork that can be used to create two-way voided slabs and rafts. It can be used as a replacement for raft foundation where slabs were used to distribute the loads to deeper soil. It is used to create slabs with large span or that are able to support large loads without beams. Now we are going to discuss about what are the components of U-boot baton. The U-boot components are the connection bridge, spacer joint and closing plate. What is spacer joint? It is used to attach two or more U-boot batons when the fixing on the shutter so that the distance between the gaps of U-boot batons cannot be changed. The significant element in U-boot technology is the spacer joint. The U-boot supported in perpendicular direction may not be rigidly seated and therefore may cause dis disruption in the U-boots. To stop these disruptions, the U-boots must be connected to each other by a spacer joint. So when the concrete is poured, the U-boots will not be affected. What is closing plate? It is used to close the U-boots concrete box that can withstand the flow of concrete into the box. The closing plate and its quality play a major role as it creates problem if concrete appears to move from damage plane to baton after concrete is mounted. What is connection bridge? It is required to link two batons longitudinally wherever it was necessary to increase the length of the baton. These are the images of the components used in U-boot baton. What are the materials used in U-boot voided slab technology? First concrete, second steel, third U-boot, fourth conventional slab and fifth voided slab. Types of U-boot baton. There are two types of U-boot baton. First, single U-boot baton. Second, double U-boot baton. What is single U-boot baton? It is generally used while laying single reinforced slabs. It is generally an open type polypropylene box which can be closed by using a closing plane to resist the entry of concrete into the baton. What is double U-boot baton? We use double U-boot baton for laying of double reinforced slabs. It consists of two boxes which are closed against each other. What are the installation process? Step 1. Place lower reinforcement above the form work. Second step. Place the U-boot above the lower reinforcement at the specified interval provided by the horizontal link connectors. Third step. Now complete the upper reinforcement which above the U-boot baton. Fourth step. Pouring of concrete is being done. Step 5. Con now concrete is poured and slab is ready. Now after setting of the concrete, we will unprop the formwork. Final slab is looking below as image given. Applications It is used to create large concrete span which having great bearing capacity. It increases the spacing of columns which gives major benefits. It is used in high rise building, commercial building, hospitals, parking lot, etc. Here I am going to dis here I am going to discuss about case study. It is the greatest shopping center in Tunisia. We are talking about the Mall of Suez, a really prestigious project in which Deliform Group, with a great supply of U-boot baton, for the realization of 65,000 square meter of slab. The system was chosen by the one of the most important design studio in Tunis for its countless advantages. First of all, the opportunity to obtain performing slab structures with important savings on concrete if compared to a full slab of the same thickness. 
This saving corresponds to a reduction in the cell weight of the slag, a significant decrease in the incidence of steel reinforcement and the optimization of the elevation structures like pillars, columns, shear walls and foundation structures. The first stone was laid by the Tunisian Republic President on October 4, 2017. People will find about 120 shops, a big supermarket, a cinema, a great restaurant area and much more. Advantages of U-boot voided slab technology It increased number of floors, large span and great architectural freedom, reduced slab thickness, no beams between pillars, optimization of the section of pillars, reduction in the number of pillars, reduction in the overall load of the structure weighing on the pillars and, found and the foundation, less the foundation excavation, improve acoustic behavior. Conclusions The U-Wood technology is a very advanced economical, architectural and fastest method of construction of a slab. The uses of U-Wood technology is very rare due to lack of awareness in our country. As we all have responsibility of saving natural and renewable resources for our future generators. This technology should be utilized more. These are the references. Thank you.